real tonight. Okay. I'm going to wait for a few people to join. If anyone is here, let me know and say hi in the comments because I would love to hear from you in chat. I think that's like the most fun part of the, of the main stream is the chat. Um, but yeah, just getting started tonight, I'm going to be talking about a few new products that I got from Tatcha, um, and I'm just going to do like a simple, easy makeup look over top of them. Um, and I have, oh, thank you so much. They're actually from a small brand that my... Um, Good friend has it's called Dusk and Rubies, and she makes everything by hand. And they're like little, all little baby pearls wrapped around um, a gold hoop. I feel like they're really super simple, but super cute, and they go with everything. I have a necklace, and I think just a necklace that matches, and it looks really cute. I love wearing them. Um, I hope everyone, as I said, is having fun tonight. Um, there's a bunch of great new mist streams going on tonight. And I hope everyone's having a great day. I'm drinking a little bit of Sauvignon Blanc because I just feel like I need it. I've had a, I've had a day today. And cheers to that. Malia, I love pearls too. I'm not sure if I'm saying your name right. Malia? Is it Malia? Malia? Um, but yeah, pearls are so easy. Like I feel like I went through a pearls phase when I was in college and, um, oh good. I'm happy I got it right. Um, then I sort of went out of that phase and I was into a much more like spiky jewelry, kind of like grungier phase. Um, and then lately I've been into just like simple, more dainty, like gold pieces. And sometimes I throw in some pearls for fun. So yeah, that's my jewelry vibe. So, all right. So I'm going to start talking about some of these Tatcha products that I got. Um, I watched a few weeks ago, Tatcha did a takeover on newness and I ended up winning a bunch of contests, which was so fun. Um, and I received a bunch of cool things from Tatcha. So I got these, I'm going to butcher this name totally, but it's Abra, -ga no, Aburato Rigami, I think, um, Japanese beauty papers. So they're like blotting papers. So I got these and I got the liquid silk canvas. And then I have the Silk Canvas. And then their new product that they were launching, which I've had now for like a few weeks and I haven't um, even used, is the Silk Powder. So um, this is super awesome because it's talc-free, translucent setting powder. So I think this is a pretty cool powder because it can be put on before makeup or after. So I don't really know when I'm gonna put it on, but we'll figure it out. All right, so I think when I just try like one of these blotting papers, just for fun. I don't think I'm that like greasy at this point, but check it out anyway. They come in this like really beautiful packaging. And I'll take out like one sheet. They're super thin papers. Special handmade papers were originally used by craftsmen to protect the gold they hammered whisper thin to ensconce the majestic pavilions of Imperial Japan. 
Guys, should I notice how these incredibly soft, strong, and absorbent leaflets removed excess oil from skin without disturbing makeup. Now in your hands, this wondrous byproduct of the Gold Artisan's Alchemy can help keep your skin petal fresh anytime and anywhere. These are amazing. And they feel extremely soft. Wow. I feel like when I was in high school or even younger, maybe even middle school, I was, I had blotting papers that I think I'm getting like more oil from my fingers than my face, but this is definitely something that I think I would keep with me in like a, like a day bag, um, a gym bag even, anything where I'm like going on a little trip where I'm going to be out and around. Hey learner. Thanks for joining. Um, so yeah, these are pretty cool. Definitely not something that I would have purchased for myself. Um, but maybe if I, if I love them and keep using them, I would buy, rebuy them. Um, because they seem like super luxurious, especially if you have like oily, like T-zone, this could be a really nice product to use. All right. Let's see for the next product I'm going to do. So I'm not sure I have Tatcha, the liquid silk canvas, the liquid version. And I have the silk canvas, like as the primer, which one should I use? And like, are they interchangeable or do I use both? Anyone know or have any like familiarity with Tatcha products? If not, just maybe vote and tell me what you think I should do. I'm going to open them both because it's fun. So this packaging is super like luxe. I love this. It says directions apply one pump to skin after SPF before makeup for face and eyes. Okay. I'm not putting on any SPF because it's nighttime and I'm just not. But I'm going to do a little makeup look after this with some new products that I've recently tried and things that I'm loving. So let's take a look at both. This is, oh, this comes with a really. The, um, the packaging is really, really nice. It's like a, I don't think that I would be using this, but it comes in this little like box with a little tag on it. So it can be stored in there. Which I'm gonna sort. And this little like spoon looking thing. It's not a spoon obviously, but it's like a little like plastic metal. I think it's more like plastic, but um, something to like scoop out the product. But let's open this and we can try to find out what the difference is between the liquid and the solid. So the liquid, or not the solid, looks like this. And it feels like silk. Whoa, very, very smooth. Um, let's see what the liquid is like. Okay, this is what the liquid looks like. You can see it just looks like a pretty, it's like a very light weight product. It's not super translucent, but it seems pretty easy. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, that's a great idea learner. I'm gonna do half. I'll do my, I guess the left side of my face with the liquid. Silk canvas. Okay, so that went in 
really nicely. I think it blended like really easily. And we'll do the right side with the Silk Canvas Hoops Primer. And I'm going to just use a little bit of, of it with this little tool, I guess. I'm just going to like scrape it. And here, I feel like it's pretty much like the same product once it's on my skin. It just kind of like, let's see. And this is a little bit, this has like a little bit of a fragrance. It's very light fragrance, but I kind of like it. And it feels a little bit more luxe. I don't know if I used enough or if I should be using more, but I'm going to use a little more. This feels and smells really, really nice, but it's like very lightweight. So this is just a primer to like give you that like poreless look. So let me see. I can maybe like see. I think it kind of does. I think like my most like the most prevalent pores that I have are on my nose. So I'm just gonna like put it on there to see how it like looks. Wow. I think it's really hard to see on my live stream newness but I can tell up close that like the pores on my nose which I see obviously super close are I think that they they look I don't know like bigger or more pronounced but this kind of like my nose looks a little red now because I just like rubbing it but it sort of like filled them in um so yeah and I think this side, the left side that I did first, feels a little bit like smoother to the touch as opposed to this, which feels a little bit more, I don't want to use like cakey. It does not feel cakey. That's the wrong word. It's like just a little bit more like moist to touch. Um... So that's where we're at right now. Um, am I a big makeup person? Not really. I wish I was more. I like wearing makeup, but I'm not like wearing makeup every single day. If I'm wearing something, I'm just wearing mascara and like doing my brows. And like I put on like a little bit of like lip color which is usually like a tinted lip balm and like um, sometimes just like a cheap flush. I'm pretty like keep it pretty natural, but I'm like getting more and more into makeup. So we'll see in, in time. Maybe I will do more. I like, I want to like be one of those girls that does like a full beat, but like I just don't have time. <laughs> Not that I'm like doing much, um, that I, I don't know, but I, but I'm going to start doing more makeup soon. Okay. I just opened up the translucent powder and I have no idea how to open it. Actually, there's like this little tab, which I'm a little bit afraid to like pull off. Okay. Nope. Oh, that's what I should do. And it like. I don't know if I need like a, like a brush for this or something. So, I guess that's not what I need. Um, the silk powder. I guess just like a powder brush. Ooh, this is pretty cool. Um. I'm going to put on foundation first and then I'm going to put this on after there's like a ton of there's actual silk in this silk extract help to help keep the skin smooth and satiny. Um, so there's actual silk, which is like pretty wild and there's anti pollution and blue light ingredients. Um, so that can like help 
alleviate like stressors that cause premature wrinkling and irregular skin peg pigmentation. Also, Japanese pearl powder and another like proprietary complement complex that has like green tea, rice, algae. Cool. Ingredients I like to just like read about. I don't know if anyone else likes ingredients like me, but I'm a big fan of that. Okay. So I'm going to use, let's see what, okay. all right, I'm going to use for foundation. I kind of, I have two options right now. One is say slip color. I have that in shade three or I have Ilia super serum skin tint SPF 40. And I have this in shade, I think Diaz. ST7 Diaz. Which one should I use? I've been loving the say. Um, the Ilia I like too. It has like a little bit of a... I've been hearing from like a few other newness creators that it has like a funky smell. Which I don't really get. But I get that it has a smell. <laughs> but I don't get like a rancid smell. Some people are saying it like smells rancid. But I think that means it just might be like bad. I don't know, like, can ingredients go sour? Maybe the sunscreen or something. But there is sunblock in this, which I do like. Um, but it's not good, so I'm going to try this. I'm going to try to say. And by try, I mean I already know that I love these products, so. This product goes on super easy. It kind of gives you that like dewy, kind of glowy. You can see like a little bit in the light. You get a little bit of a glow from this product. And I really don't use brushes either. Okay. I think it went on maybe maybe a little bit less dewy than it previously did, but it still looks pretty dewy and like nice and a little bit more matte so I like that again it kind of gives me that like no makeup makeup look I need to change the position of my mirror because whenever I look in the mirror which is next to my computer I get like super close to the product so I guess a nice little up close and personal of my side profile so this powder is supposed to compare to I don't really know that it will compare to anything I think a lot of a lot of people use the um it's not like really like famous powder like the Laura Mercier powder but I think that this is like far superior to it but similar um so yeah let's just go for that I have like a powder brush here this is just like a real techniques 201 just called powder brush so I actually don't know how to get this like get my hand oh lost my hand okay so I just like got some in my hand you can see it's very fine translucent powder it has like a little bit of like a tone but it's like It looks like a very light skin tone. Like if it if it was like a color, I guess just like it's whitish, but sort of almost like a light pink. Hey Regina. Hi Mintish. So I'm trying right now the Tatcha Silk Powder, which I got from participating in Nunes stream. Thank you so much. Um, I really like this powder. It gives me like very, my skin feels like really, really soft and clean. Hmm. I like it. 
gonna see how the rest of my makeup goes on after that powder too, just to kind of play around with that. The other day I did like a peaches inspired makeup tutorial because I feel like I've seen it all over the internet. So I'm gonna do a similar eye today. Yeah, no, it does have a little bit of shimmer in it, Regina. It definitely looks like it's translucent-y, but it looks like there's, it's, it's probably like there's actual like pearl in it and silk fibers, some like form of that. So I feel like it does have a little like shimmery look. You're not crazy at all. <laughs> um, so, all right, let me do for my face, I'm going to do... I'm gonna do a little bit of the super loaded tinted highlight from Westman Atelier. It's like one of my favorite things. I use the color Peau de Peche and it looks like this. It's kind of like a bronzy, like peachy color and it just like adds a like subtle glow, which is what I'm all about because Subtle is me. A little bit of, a little bit of something. Make it nice and easy. I'm definitely into like the no makeup makeup look. Okay, is Westman worth the hype? I think there are some products that are worth the hype. I have only purchased the super loaded tinted highlight um, because they're, they're super expensive. I think this was like $85, but I've had it for a while and I wear it often. Um, and I always reach for it um, as a highlighter. And it's like a creamy highlight, which I like. So it doesn't look so like strobey, but it does I don't really have great lighting in this room right now, but it Definitely, I think you can definitely see um, the, the highlight. Um, the blush, I've heard super good things about as well. There's like, they have like all like cute little cheeky names and I want to try, I think it's called Baby Lips. I could be wrong. It's something like that. Um, but I definitely want to try um, the blushes. And I've heard really good things about the um, the lip suede, which is like five different colors of like tones of red. And um, I think it's like really super pretty. Um, so yeah, if anyone, has anyone tried that? If anyone does try it, let me know. Cause I'm like, I'm on the edge of like buying it. I just... Like, I'm always like saying to myself, like, oh, I really want to try this. I really want to try that. And I like buy things and I like forget about other things. I just placed an order yesterday for um, a new brand that just launched um, from a makeup artist from France, Violet. Does anyone follow her? She's like, I think she like did like a collaboration with Estee Lauder for a while. And she released this like really pretty like red lip. And it's kind of like a, it's almost like a feathered, like you just like made out with someone red lip. Um, and I got something from there. I got the, the lip. I got, I'm going to like do a stream and like talk about all the things I got. I got a bunch of stuff and I was like, close my eyes, like press check out, like shop pay, like. Shopify pay is a problem for me because like my credit card just auto populates. So all I have to do is select like add to cart and then pay. And I'm like, oh, not good. Not good. And then at like the end of the week, I'm like, oh, what am I spending money? but then I don't know. I'm just like so into trying things and I'm, like, I'm excited for that. Yeah. When is the stimulus hitting? I don't, I don't know. Like, I think, I think some people in my family got it recently. Um, but I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to get it. I guess you can like look it up by your social security number, which I have not done. And I like should be making an effort. 
um, because that would be nice. All right, I'm gonna use a few of these Glossier products. Um, they're called Sky Wash as eyeshadows. And these are all like brownish, peachy colors. And this is what I use for my um, Peaches makeup look. Um, I have my credit card number memorized, like pretty sure. I used to have my husband's memorized, but I don't anymore. <laughs> I, I have the one in like the auto, auto um, populate in Shopify. So that's fine. All right, where, what am I looking for? Oh, I'm looking for a brush. Okay, so these Glossier Sky Washes, I got them in the fall and they sent me them and I wasn't like super impressed at first, but I think it was because I was using them wrong. Um, I was like just only get, like putting it on and not like diffusing it out with a brush and wasn't really exactly how they're supposed to be used I think but like it comes with this like doe foot applicator I'm like where's my thumbnail right here and this color that I'm using is Terra so I'm just gonna like put a little bit on it is a liquid but it's a very it almost like it's like liquid to powder so it dries very powdery. I'm putting it on like very poorly, but wow, that was a little crazy, but it will build. It will get better. It won't look so wild in a few minutes, hopefully. The next color I'm using is Palm, which is kind of like a yellowish color. It looks like a tan, but it's more, it reads more yellow on my skin. And what am I doing with it? I'm just going to put a little bit like over here. Do you guys see why I'm not like a makeup person? I'm really like not good at makeup. I just do it because I just like do whatever I feel. And then I just blend it all in and hope for the best. Like I literally use like every all the time. Like sometimes I'll create like some fun looks, but I'm like, who knows how it's going to come out? And if it sucks, then I'll just wipe it off and start over. But mostly I'm able to just blend it in and make it work. All right, the last color I'm using is Pebble. It looks like this and it almost has like a little bit more of like a purpley gray undertone, but I'm just gonna kind of like put this in the, in the corners. Hello, how do I say your name? Is it Sade? Say Sade. I'm getting it right, but I'm gonna say Sade for now. And if I'm wrong, tell me. Um, okay, so that's Pebble. And I'm just gonna start like blending this in. I think it might be like better to blend it like earlier, like as I was going. Because this is like looking very I put a lot of Terra on, so it's looking like very orangey. But like for a peaches look, it's kind of like a vibe. So I'm just like diffusing this a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit under. I'm like not hating this. It's, is it like very orange for my like, this might be too orange for me. I look a little wild. <laughs> Um, oh, thank you. I got this shirt when I was walking through, I was doing an Amazon return at Kohl's, as one does. And if you return something there, you get like a 25% off coupon. So this is a shirt from Mary Kate and Ashley's line, Elizabeth and James. And it was like two for 30, so $15 and then on sale with 25% off. So I'm like, okay. Um, all right, so this is like 
like I said, like Glossier, he's like, I mean, I'm awful at, at doing eye makeup, especially like this. I feel like I need to like remove this immediately because I look really, really wild. Not the vibe. Too orange, but it's, it's peaches themed. Okay. We're going with the peaches. Um, so Glossier is definitely a hit or miss. I used to be like a Glossier, like stan. Everything was Glossier. I was like, so, I'm a, and I'm still a rep for them. Um, there are some products that I really do enjoy a lot. And there are some that I'm just like meh about. And like these are meh for me. Um, they're fine. They were the only kind of shades that I had in the, in like peaches colors. Um, but some like, I really like the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. That's like a really like staple for me. I like Boy Brow, but I'm actually going to use, uh, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze right now. I've used this like one other time and I really, really like it. It gives you that like laminated brow look. But yeah, that Elizabeth and James collection at Kohl's. Oh yeah, you have to go all the way to the back of the store to return your item and then they give you that coupon and I'm like, that's such a great deal. 25% off is like a lot. Maybe it's 20. I think it's 25 though. And I was like, I usually only check in like the, they actually have a pretty interesting like beauty section. It's like gotten better. Um, I got some like pimple patches there. The, um what the name brand is Kiro it's a Kiro Cosmetics Mighty Patch that's what it's called um but I got some of those there and I like whatever they're $18 but I used my coupon so it was great so I'm gonna buy something and then I might as well just use a coupon that's what I said okay so this is the brow freeze has anyone else used this I really like it um I have a little spoolie that you can just like dip in and this is really, really powerful. I feel like it makes my brows stick straight up, which is always what I'm going for. And just kind of like puts them into place. And I've worn this a couple days and when I wear it, my, I should put on like a brow pencil before this to like fill in like sparse areas. But I have a couple of makeup bags that I use. One is my like everyday makeup bag and then like my more like fun if I'm going out makeup bag is elsewhere. So my filling in the brows stuff is in the is in the more fun bag. So we're not getting it tonight, friends. Okay. So I think like but I think I need to because I think that some of these hairs are like out of place or I need like a few more hairs. But like Up close, you can definitely see a difference between these two brows. I think, does anyone use any um, brow fill-in products that they really like? Actually, Brow Flick from Glossier is a, is a good product. I have that somewhere in my in one of my other makeup bags that like live underneath my sink in my bathroom I think that like when I'm doing these laminated brows I must fill in because I look a little bit I definitely look more like I have more sparse brows and my brows are pretty 
I want to say thick, but I have a lot of brow hair. I need to like work with these brows. I haven't been to a brow person in a while. I don't think I need to. <laughs> I can't believe that I did this makeup on my eyes. Like it looks awful. <laughs> Oh, it's ridiculous. All right, I'm going to do Ilia Mascara. And I'm going to use my Say Eyelash Filler. I love using an eyelash filler now. Like I said, I'm like really very slowly improving my makeup preparation and skills. The, the eyes. Eyeshadows, not so much, but I'll get there. I enrolled or I'm enrolled tomorrow at 11 a.m. I have my enrollment meeting for my esthetician class. I'm so excited about it. Um, and they have like a, the program has obviously like a small or like a, a required part that has to do with like makeup application. And I'm like, whoo, I need that. Um, so this is Ilia. This is like a sample size. I love getting little sample size mascaras because that way I'm not committing to like full size. It's the Limis Limitless Lash Mascara and the color that I have is called After Midnight, so it's black. And the wand is like a, it sort of has a little bit of a curve to it. It's almost like thicker on the outsides and like gets a little bit more slender in the middle. And it's like a plus, I don't know, silicone style to, um, brush. So see how this looks on. I used this one other time. I can't do it so that way I can lean in. And I like how this looks. I feel like it's a great pumpkin. Like I'm Charlie Brown and the Great Pumpkin or something. I'm very pumpkin vibes. Peaches vibes, I guess. But yeah. So I like the way this looks. I did find it was a little bit crusty. Like it fell off a little bit throughout the day when I wore this the first time. can't even look at this. It's horrible. Um, but I do like this mascara compared to the Say 101 mascara. I think that this one makes my lashes like a little bit like more wow, but I like the way the Say mascara wears throughout the day better. Just slightly better. And this is super different from the other mascara that I've been like wearing a lot lately, which is the... Yeah, those are both clean mascaras that I was just comparing. The other one that I really want to try is the Kosas Mascara. That's new. It comes in like a pink tube. I can't remember the name of it right now. I love putting on a lot of mascara. I love like a really dark, bold eye. So this was Ilia. And the other one that I use often is... Mascara 101, which I don't know where it is right now. Um, my daughter, who is one and a half years old, has been like playing with my makeup. Not like really using it, but like I let her play with the brushes mostly. 
Um, but then this other mascara, Sky High, I really like. It's a tubing mascara. Um, but it's just a different, this isn't clean, but I like this one as well. I'm like really into this, but I, I do like the way that the Ilya looks. Hey Alex, thank you. Um, I've had super, super dry lips this week. Hey crazy panda, thank you. I did like a peaches makeup vibe with my eyes and I feel like they're looking a little, I'm not like great at eye shadow. So I feel like they're looking a little pumpkin-y, but it's fun. Um, my lips have been super, super, super dry. And I just need to like start hydrating them like so my goodness, like as much as possible. Um, but yeah, I was just talking about my daughter who is recently obsessed. Oh, I found that same mascara. It was right in front of me the whole time. Um, she's been recently like super obsessed with my makeup bag and like putting on any types of like creams. And it's just like weird because she's very young, but I guess like whatever you are around, whatever your kids are around, they like do. Um, so she sees me like trying different things or like looking at different products and it's just been, it's just been fun to like watch her as a little baby going through things. It's so fun. I really want to have her on a stream, like doing my makeup. I'm not sure if it's even going to work or if she's going to cry, but it should be super fun. Oh, Alex, thank you so much. That's so sweet. Um, Alex just sent me something from my facial fund, which I got a facial on Tuesday, which is yesterday. I've been on like a facial kick. I love getting facials. It's my favorite thing ever. It's like really how I self care and treat myself well. Um, and thank you. I love being a mom. It's my, it's like the, my favorite thing ever. Um, and it took me a while to get there at first when I was, when I had my daughter a year and a half ago, I was like, oh, I like fully felt postpartum depression. And I was like, Oh my God, this is not, this is not as like, it's, it wasn't easy. And it's like, not as like, I don't know. It's just like, it's a lot all at once. Your life fully changes. But, um, I've been like learning and growing and like in therapy and in life coaching. And like, I have learned to appreciate my relationship with my daughter so much. I also learned myself that I'm not a, I'm not the type of mom that can be a stay at home mom. Um, it's for me just, I really like love that she can go to daycare school for a few hours during the day and we have like amazing mornings together we have amazing evenings together and it is it's really something that I felt like guilty about but I've also learned and like over the past year like I guess the first six months um of her life and my life postpartum I was feeling that like depression and I, you know, started like therapy and it really helped me. Like I'm in such a better place now. Um, but I think a lot of people go through these feelings. Some have it at like very, very drastic levels. I was not thankfully in a place where I was like considering anything drastic. I was just like sort of feeling like, I think, what it's also called is like the baby blues. Like you just sort of feel like you've lost a part of yourself. You're like, your independence is sort of gone. Like you're constantly caring for another human being. Um, so I think it's, it's really, you know, prioritizing yourself is like the number one thing, because if you're not like good, you can't be good for anyone else in your life, your child, your, your significant other, your family members, your work, whatever. Like if you're you like, you always have to be first. Like, I think that's so, so, so important. Like you come first, then your spouse, your work, your family, what, like, however that kind of like goes out for you. But I think that like, if you're not putting you first, like you have to like try to try to like reprioritize and get that back need to be there for you. Um, so that's my little, like my little Ted talk on therapy. 
I'm like such an advocate for therapy. I think it's very, very important. And, you know, you don't always have to have something like, I also thought that for years, like nothing bad really has ever happened to me. Like, I don't really need to go to therapy. Um, but like, yes, I did. I needed to go and it was one of the best things ever because then when something did happen to me, like when I was in my mid twenties, I lost my father to cancer and like so many of the tools that I learned in therapy over the years, like obviously that was like a tough period and it still is for me. Like I was super close with my dad, but I think having those like tools in my back pocket and being able to like refer back to conversations that I've had with someone that's like super supportive of me and like they like it's just so 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 important and I can't I can't like recommend it enough another thing I tried once was um I think it's called talk space I did that for a little while and I had like a, a great therapy like a therapy experience there I kind of went away from it um, because I think I was getting like, I was getting like to have a weird relationship there. Cause I was like constantly like, <laughs> cause you pretty much can like text the therapist whenever you want. Um, which I think is cool, but it can also be a little bit like, for me, it was like, I was like texting like my therapist, like every time anything in my life was happening, I was like texting my friend. I instead I was texting this person. It was sort of like a nice way for me to like get through like a little bit of a troubling time in my life. Um, but then I kind of like went back to in person because I thought that worked better. But now I'm like on Zoom. So life has changed for everyone. But um, yeah, so I think therapy is like a huge, a huge component of my life. And it like helps with things that have happened in the past. Another thing that's really, really changed my mindset is life coaching. Um, therapy is more like past based and life coaching is like future based. And that's like, I feel like changed my completely changed my mindset in the past six months. I started that back in October and it's been amazing. Like I work with this girl, Aubrey, I meet with her every week and we just discuss, I feel like I have a, I feel like I have like someone that's like holding me accountable and I'm holding myself accountable. So instead of like me saying like, oh, I wish I was doing this or like, I, you know, I, I wish I was streaming on newness. Last year I had, um, gotten in touch with Kelly via like another friend and she was like, oh yeah, start watching a stream, like watch Alex's stream. So Alex, I started watching your streams. If you're still here, um, I started watching your streams like pretty much like right off the bat. And I was like, oh, these are, this is so fun. And um, I like loved it. And I sort of just like wanted to do it. And then I just didn't. And I was like, oh, this would be cool to do. But I just never did it. And then I started talking to my life coach about it. And I was like, oh, yeah, I was like thinking about, you know, streaming on newness. And she was like, what is it? Like asking me all about it, whatever. And I'm like telling her like about this amazing platform. Like it's all about beauty. And she's like, this is, seems like it's right up your alley. And she's like, all right. So she just pretty much helped me come up with like a step-by-step -step plan, like just to figure it out. Just like reach back out to Kelly, set it up, just like get it done. And I did. And I feel so good about it now that I'm doing this. And I was like scared at first. Like, I mean, anything new can be scary, but now I feel just so much better. I'm like super happy that I did it. And I feel like I'm meeting so many awesome people here and I've come out of my shell a little bit. Like not really. I was never really in a shell, but on the internet, I felt a little bit like guarded. Like I was a little veiled on the internet. Like I would not share as much of my life or who I am. Um, it's just, I've been, I've just been enjoying this community so much. It's like such an incredible place to be. So, um, cheers to that. I love it. Learner, it's been so nice to meet you too. How is Florida, Alex? It looks amazing. 
I've been watching your Instagram stories and um, looks like so beautiful. I definitely feel like I want to get away somewhere warm soon. Um, I did a little staycation in New York City like last weekend and that was just nice because it was actually pretty warm in the city. Um, but I want to go somewhere like really warm. Like New York warm is like wearing jeans and a sweater and a jacket and like having to take off your jacket midway through. So, yeah. Um, I completely agree with that, Alex. It is like super nice to connect with people on a weekly basis and not always the same people, sometimes familiar faces. And it's just really... It's just been really fun, and I, I love that. I'm all about just, like, experiencing the most that I can and, like, getting the most out of my life instead of, like, wishing for something else, just, like, doing what, doing what I'm doing and really, like, living for today. So that's my little, my little ash talk. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. I feel like in the South, Texas, Florida, Arizona, it is no masking, but I don't know, I guess in time it will get more and more open. I mean, I guess everything's open. I guess people will start feeling more and more comfortable, but I'm not really comfortable to like not be in a mask in public yet. Like I like, I'd rather just be safe. I mean, that's how I feel. I've, I knock on wood have not gotten COVID. Um, but my daughter got COVID. My one year old daughter got COVID in December and like I was caring for her for like, the, you know, the entire time that we were quarantined together. She was almost like sleeping on me for like, two days when she was like had a hot fever and I didn't get it thankfully I was always like masked and you know just being a safe and like constantly washing everything down but it's pretty um it's pretty scary like she got um we think she got COVID from daycare but no one else at the daycare tested positive, but like one of the other, it's a very, it was a very small daycare. There were only a few kids that went and one of the moms is a teacher and she was exposed at school and tested positive. So I just got her, Vivian, my daughter tested that night and she came back positive and it was just very, um, pretty wild. So we don't know if like that person's um, child was like asymptomatic because the child tested negative. So it was really just odd. Um, but nobody else in our family got it. I didn't get it. My husband didn't get it. Thank God. Like we were, we were healthy and Vivian really only, it was like really like a 24 hour bug for her. And she was like back up and being a toddler pretty much immediately after, but it was like one of the scariest things ever as a parent to like, watch you know to know that and quarantining was the hardest part <laughs> because like not being able to like leave the house really and like I don't know I had some good people friends and family that were like dropping off like food at our front door um but I think it's also like having COVID I didn't I mean I didn't have it but like my family did my daughter did it was a very interesting feeling because you almost feel like shamed in a sense people don't want to be around you obviously I don't I wouldn't want to be around me or Vivian at that time either but it's a very like weird feeling it's very isolating it's very like alienating you're like oh no like I thought we were being like extremely like careful which we were and are um, but it was a, it was a definitely challenging place and, um, it's wild that we've been in this kind of around all for a full year, but hopefully we're going to start seeing the light on the other side sooner than later. I'm really hoping that 
more and more people get vaccinated and we can just start living toward regular stuff. I mean, I hate talking about pandemic stuff, but like, it's just, I don't know, it's life right now. It's just, there's nothing we can really do. Um, this Panera bread needs to go. <laughs> oh my gosh, Panera bread. That place is so good. Like broccoli cheddar soup was my like OG, like favorite meal to get when I was in high school, <laughs> I would always get that. But like, I've gotten some Panera Bread. I think during the pandemic, I got like to go food from there once. I like got tired of like all of my local spots. So we, we did like Panera Bread. We did like so many different like takeout options or to go options during the pandemic. It's, it's, it's funny. I've gotten like, I don't know. I, I can't even think of really anything on Panera Bread's menu except for broccoli cheddar soup. That's the only thing I can think of. I know they have sandwiches and all kinds of things, but whatever. Funny. Um, all right. So I'm at an hour. So I feel like it's kind of time for me to wrap up this little chat. And I'm so grateful that everyone joined tonight. This was really nice little chat. Um, and I really enjoyed our little conversation at the end too, post makeup about mental health and things like that. Oh my gosh, Alex, no way. Michael worked at Panera. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. I feel like a lot of things are frozen. Oh my gosh. Wait, we need like a full Alex, you need to do, like, a fun, like, Q&A into, like, Michael's life. I feel like you've done, like, a probably, like, a couple's thing before. I know he's done your makeup, but you need to, like, bring out, like, some kinds of, like, funny things where, like, Michael spills the tea on, like, I don't know, the funny things that he knows. Like, like tips and tricks. That would be funny. I feel like, I feel like things that men like do are just so interesting and entertaining. I don't know why. Like <laughs> broccoli soup is not from a plastic bag. No way. That just like, what? Like they probably just produce it so like widespread. Or, like, I don't even know what I'm saying. Like, they produce it in such, like, big quantities. But, like, why does it come in a plastic bag and not, like, a container? Oh, my God. It's probably, like, it has to do with shipping. Oh, my God. Yes. A surprise guest. A guest appearance. Celebrity appearance from Producer Bay. That would be so funny. Um, yeah. I would love that. too much. Yeah, everything does come from a plastic bag nowadays, which I hate. I wish things came in like, I don't know, better packaging. Like plastic just is awful. How can we stop that? I don't know. This is going into like uh, another conversation, which I actually had recently on um, Clubhouse this week with I, I like have a clubhouse room with like a few other newness creators and we chat about like mental health in beauty. We're in the beauty room on Mondays at 8 p.m. And we talk about either like mental health or we've done like different like social media and we've recently like most recently talked about sustainability and how brands, you know, should be doing better, but how we as consumers need to be doing better too with sustainability. I mean, I know I'm always like trying new products and, you know, shopping for things. Even like whenever I like place an order online, I feel like I feel guilty about like the, the packaging, like the waste that comes from like me ordering, like, I don't know, a, a makeup product or something. I don't know. It's like a tough, it's a tough place to be, especially because I know I've shopped so much more online this year 
in the Ponda replay. <laughs> and um, it just, I don't know. I feel like I need to, I need to like reframe where I'm like spending my money and how often I'm like pressing add to cart and checking out. So things that I need to like, and we all need to hold ourselves accountable to. So, okay. Again, I'm over an hour. So I'm so happy you all joined tonight. Thank you again so much. And these Tasha products were the bomb. I really liked them. Um, the silk canvas, super, the silk powder, really nice. The silk canvas. Um, I think like the way that they came out, we had this side with this primer, this side with the, with the matte filter finish. I think they're very similar, but really, really nice. And I can't wait to continue using them and see how, um, I feel like my makeup just came out so, so, so much nicer. So again, thanks. Thanks guys. Thanks everyone. Guys, gals. And I will talk to you all next week. Bye. Thank you.